Did you know that right here in the US, our weather is influenced by sea surface temperatures thousands of miles away into the Pacific Ocean? The temperature of the ocean water in the Pacific actually determines the pattern that we are in, whether it be El Nino, La Nina, or neutral. Last winter, we had a La Nina event, and this winter, we're expecting El Nino. But what exactly is El Nino, and how does it form? I dug into the science behind El Nino. Have a listen. El Nino. It's a commonly mentioned natural phenomenon, but what exactly is it? and how does it affect the weather? In the Pacific Ocean, persistent east to west winds, commonly referred to as trade winds, will push warm surface water westward. This causes cooler water to come to the surface. It's a process called upwelling. However, when the trade winds weaken, the warmer seawater shifts east, reducing the upwelling. This shift in sea surface temperatures has significant consequences for weather across the United States. As this large pool of warmer than average water sits in the eastern Pacific, it adds heat and moisture to the atmosphere above. During winter months, this warm air clashes with cooler air to the north, adding fuel to the jet stream, making it more intense and pulling it further south. In turn, the general track of storm systems shifts south, bringing stormier and wetter weather across the southwest and the Gulf Coast. In contrast, the Northwest and Midwest are normally drier and warmer. This winter, an El Nino is favored to form as the area of warm surface seawater in the Eastern Pacific is expected to grow. While the El Nino can set the stage for the overall weather pattern, it does not rule out any particular type of weather across the U.S. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Mary Matthews.